Hi friends, welcome to Storytime. I'm Jennifer with the Lamb Library and I'm glad you can join me. And if you would, I'd love for you to say hello in the comments so I know which of my friends are watching. And let's start with our hello song and wave hello to all our friends. Are you ready? Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, it's story time. Hello, my friends, hello. All right, today our story time is an homage to Black History Month. So we will be using books that have award-winning um, African-American authors or illustrators. And our the songs we're using are going to be inspired by some great African-American inventors and scientists. All right, now, who wants to start with a silly song? You guys don't like silly songs, do you? You do. All right, well, we'll start with one, and it is about a peanut sitting on a railroad track. Now, what do you think is going to happen if the peanut is sitting on a railroad track when the train comes by? All right, are you ready? So it goes like this. A peanut sat on a railroad track, his heart was all a flutter. Around the bend came number 10, toot, toot. Squish, peanut butter. So what happened to the peanut? He got squished when the train came by and turned him into peanut butter. All right, let's sing it one more time now that you've heard me sing it, and I hope you'll join along with me. So a peanut sat on a railroad track. His heart was all a flutter. Around the bend came number 10. Toot, toot, squish, peanut butter. All right, so I, one reason I wanted to use that song is because our first book is about a train, but also because there was a great scientist named George Washington Carver, and this is his picture, who did a lot of work with peanuts. Now, he didn't invent, invent peanut butter. Peanut butter was around for a long time before that. But he did do a lot of research to find the best ways to grow peanuts and to find lots of uses for peanuts to help support agriculture in the South. And he was also the first African-American to earn a bachelor's degree, which is a big deal. All right, now we are going to move on to our story. And this is Freight Train, and it is written and illustrated by Donald Cruz. So he wrote the words and he made the pictures and he has won uh, several awards for his work. So are you ready for the freight train? And you might can tell from the front, we're going to work on our colors a little bit. So let's see. And we have Green Willow Books to thank for giving us permission to share this with you today. So what do we see along here? We see the track and what goes on the track. Oh, that's right, a train will come across the track. What does the train look like? We have a red caboose in the back. And what color is this? That's right, an orange tank car comes next. This one holds liquids. And then a yellow hopper car. And that one holds grain like corn or wheat. Next, we have a green cattle car. And like the name says, that one carries cattle or other livestock. So it could be cows or maybe sheep or pigs. And next is the blue gondola car, and then a what color purple box car. What do you think will be next? Ah, and after that is the black tender or coal car, and that carries the coal that they burn to heat the water and make the steam to run the black steam engine in front that pulls the train. So we have a freight train. Some trains carry freight, some trains carry people. This one is a freight train. Then we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, 
and black. And what does the train say? Sorry, chugga, 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 chugga. Woo, woo, now it's on the move. It's going so fast, you can hardly see them. They're just a blur. Going through the tunnel. Chugga, 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 chugga. Going by the city. Chugga, 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 chugga. Crossing the trestle. Look at that tall bridge. Chugga, 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 chugga. Moving through the darkness and moving in daylight going going gone gone on its way all right so we've worked on colors with that story and we're going to work on colors a little bit more with our traffic light so what colors are in our traffic light red that's right, yellow and green. And so the song we're going to sing with this is to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. It's going to be Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Traffic Light. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner shining bright. Red means stop. Green means go. Yellow means drive very slow. Twinkle, twinkle, traffic light on the corner shining bright. So when you see the light turn red, that means stop. Green means go. And yellow is the warning telling you it's about to turn red. So you need to start slowing down. Now when... <clears throat> When traffic signals first came around, they only signaled stop and go. And a man named Garrett Morgan noticed that there were a lot of accidents because people didn't realize it was about to change to stop and they couldn't stop fast enough. So it was his idea to add another signal to indicate it was about to turn red and you needed to slow down. And this is Garrett Morgan. His original signal looked like this. It didn't have red, green, and yellow lights, but it had different positions to signal stop, go, and slow down. So, and he was a great inventor and scientist, and he came up with lots of other inventions, such as the precursor to the gas mask. So these, just these two inventions alone of his helped save a lot of lives because they made things much safer. Now, let's look back at our traffic light. We talked about the colors. What shapes do we see? We see the lights are circles. What about the shape of the whole light? That is a, what do you think? That's right, a rectangle. So now with our next book, we're going to work on shapes a little bit more. So this one is called... City Shapes, and it is written by Diana Murray and illustrated by Brian Collier. And Brian Collier is an African-American illustrator who has won many awards for his wonderful illustrations. And you can see how realistic his are. This is in this book. Um, this book itself has won several awards. And we have Little Brown and Company to thank for allowing me to share this with you today. So we're going to look at city shapes in the city. Let's see what we can spot. So a pigeon takes flight through the bright cityscape, exploring the scenery shape after shape. The city is bursting with shapes of each kind. And if you look closely, who knows what you'll find? So keep your eyes out, see what kind of shapes we see. A truck rumbling by to deliver the mail. A silvery cart with pretzels for sale. Mm, who likes pretzels? And stacks of brown packages hauled up the stairs. What shapes are those? Some shapes in the city are on the go squares. So you might see square tiles, square windows, square boxes. 
A skyscraper covered in shimmering glass. A long metal bench with a green patch of grass. And a table with glittery scarves and gold bangles. Some shapes in the city are dazzling. What shapes are these? Rectangles. So some buildings might look like rectangles. Some windows might look like rectangles. What other rectangles do you think you would find? Let's see what shape was next. The seaport with all of its flowing white sails. And there in the market, uh, the pointy fish tails. And the colorful flags on banners that dangle. And what shapes are these flags in the fish tail? Some shapes in the city are gleaming triangles. So what else do you think you might see there are triangles? Hmm. Maybe the shape of a, some of the roofs. Uh, some signs that say yield are shaped like triangles. These sunglasses worn by the cop on the beat. The wheels of the taxi that zip down the street and the manhole cover on the, to the pipes underground. Some shapes in the city are circles that are round, just like on our traffic light. Bubbles are circles, lots of circles. At sunset, the city is softly aglow as chit-chatting crowds hustle bustle below. When off in the distance, a melody hums. It's hard not to follow the sound of the drums. The stage in the park where the instruments sing. Some shapes in the city are ovals that swing. The oval decorations, oval balloons. And nearby, the kites seem to dance in the sky. See the kites? Some shapes in the city are diamonds that fly. The sun fades away into hazy blue dark. And soon there's a twinkle, a glimmer, a spark scattered up high above buildings and cars. Some shapes in the city are far away stars. Now the pigeon flies back through the night cityscape as city lights sparkle shape after shape. But her heart starts to ache for the shape she loves best. What shape do you think the pigeon likes best? The shape that is home, her warm circle nest, where the whirring and beeping of cars rushing by helps her fall fast asleep like a sweet lullaby. So as the pigeon flew through the city, she saw lots of shapes. And then she came home to her nest. Now when you go out, and you're driving around or walking around with your grown-ups running errands or picking up your older brother or sister, you can keep an eye out for all kinds of shapes. Now, in that story we saw at night, what was the shape that we saw in the sky? The shape of the stars, which are out where? In space. And... Reminds me of this book. Oh, we're not going to read it today, but I just want to tell you about it. And these were four women who worked for NASA early in the space days. And they were mathematicians and engineers. And if it weren't for them, we would not have been able to get the first man on the moon. And they did lots of very important work. And so in honor of them, we're going to do one more song that I think you'll like. We're going to do a song about going to the moon in a rocket ship. And we're going to work on counting. So we worked on colors and shapes. And now we're going to work on counting. So this one is called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Are you ready? We're going to rub our hands together like this. 
Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one blast off all right when you do that at home you might want to stand up so you can crap down and jump up just like a rocket when you do that we'll try one more time if you want to do it that way so zoom 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 we're going to the moon zoom 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 we're going to the moon if you want to take a trip climb aboard my rocket ship Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. All right, and if you would like some more books um, for Black History Month, I'll have a few selections and we have many more. So again, we have the one hidden figures about the um, mathematicians who worked in the early days of NASA. And this is a new one that I really like. It's great for the little ones. And this one is called Follow Your Dreams, Little One. And it tells about the lots of different um, people and their accomplishments, um, scientists, inventors, musicians, fashion designers, architects, all kinds of different accomplishments by black people. So this is a really good one. Um, and this is one that I really love. This one won some awards. This is called The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander, who is an award-winning um, African-American author, and Kadir Nelson, who is another award-winning black illustrator. And this book tells, this is a really good one because it covers a little bit of everything. It tells of the hardships of slavery, the struggles of civil rights, but it also tells a lot of the great accomplishments by inventors, musicians, and athletes. And again, it has Kadir Nelson's wonderful illustrations. So this is a great one. And we have lots of other biographies of all different kinds of people, um, people who fought against slavery, people who fought in civil rights, um, musicians, artists, scientists. We also have lots of books about black joy, such as Black is a Rainbow Color. And this one is um, illustrated by a really great uh, award-winning illustrator, Akua Holmes, who I really like. So this is a really nice one. And then we also have this one, um, Princess Hair by Sherry Miller. And there are other books along those lines. So we do have a lot covering all different topics for Black History Month. So if you would like some, come on by or give us a call and we can put some on hold for you. All right, so that's the end of our story time. So let's sing our goodbye song. Story time is over, wave goodbye. Story time is over, wave goodbye. Story time is done and I hope that you had fun. Story time is over, wave goodbye. I want to thank all my friends for joining me, and especially Kimberly and Lise. And I hope I'll see you next week, um, 1030 on Wednesdays is when Storytime airs live, and you can always watch it later at your convenience. And next week, we should have the March Early Literacy Kits available if you'd like to pick them up as well. So until next week, take care, and I'll see you then.